Goldilocks. This is the story of Goldilocks. She lives with her mummy and daddy. One day she goes for a walk in the forest, and she sees a beautiful little house. The door is open, so Goldilocks goes inside. Hello! She shouts, but nobody is in. Goldilocks goes into the kitchen. There are three bowls of soup on the table. There is a big bowl, a medium bowl, and a little bowl. First, she tries the big bowl. Ow! It's too hot. Then she tries the medium bowl. It's too cold. Finally, she tries the little bowl. Mmm, it's just right. And she eats it all. <sighs> Next, Goldilocks goes into the living room. There are three chairs. There is a big chair, a medium chair, and a little chair. First, she tries the big chair. Ow! It's too hard. Then, she tries the medium chair. Ugh! It's too soft. Finally, she tries the little chair. Hmm, it's just right. And she accidentally breaks it. Ow! Next, Goldilocks goes into the bedroom. There are three beds. There is a big bed. A medium bed, and a little bed. First, she tries the big bed. Ow! It's too hard. Then, she tries the medium bed. Ugh! It's too soft. Finally. She tries the little bed. Hmm, it's just right, and she falls asleep. <sighs> Then the three bears come home. They go into the kitchen. Somebody. Has eaten my soup," says Daddy Bear. "Somebody has eaten my soup," says Mummy Bear. <laughs> "Somebody has eaten my soup," says Baby Bear. Next, the three bears go into the living room. Somebody has sat in my chair," says Daddy Bear. "Somebody has sat in my chair," says Mummy Bear. <laughs> "Somebody has sat in my chair," says Baby Bear. And it's broken. <laughs> Next, the three bears go into the bedroom. Somebody has slept in my bed," says Daddy Bear. "Somebody has slept in my bed," says Mummy Bear. <gasps> 
Everybody has slept in my bed, says Baby Bear. And she's still here. Suddenly, Goldilocks wakes up and sees the three bears. <gasps> I'm sorry for eating your soup. And I'm sorry for breaking your chair, she says. Then she runs out of the house. <sighs> Goldilocks never goes to the bear's house again.